All's quiet at the Nashville Zoo. Silent even. Except for the distant sound of a female seeming ape. Apes, uh, you know, are so much like us. They do show emotion and pain and sadness. She's hiding from the rain, but calling for her mate. They're pretty bonded. It is abnormal for her to be alone. But she will have to wait. Because he is anesthetized and headed towards surgery. What we've done so far is do x-rays. Heather Robertson is the senior vet at Nashville Zoo. She says surgery is necessary to remove an undescended testicle from the eight-year-old ape. We were concerned for two reasons. One, the testicle that remained within his abdomen was more at risk for cancer. And we also knew that that was a genetic trait. A trait they didn't want passed on. Do we have fluids hanging? So instead of navigating unfamiliar territory. We don't see this that often. We don't have that many apes here at the zoo. Dr. Heather called on a colleague. I thought somebody was probably playing a trick on me. I really did. He called me, asked if I was Ashton Kutcher, and I said, no, this is not punked. I've done hundreds and hundreds of humans. Uh, this will be my first ape. Dr. Thomas Landon is a urological surgeon for humans at Summit Medical Center. So what we're doing now is prepping the animal. Today, his patient just happens to be this ape. He is very safe at this point in time. Similar in every way, except... We did have to shave a little more than usual, which I, I, we expected. Give me one more retractor. With all hair removed, surgery started. Needle back. Cottery. And after a quick 45 minutes, what size suture? Both testicles are gone. Very good. That uh, probably couldn't have gone any smoother. Just a few final touches before he wakes up. Yes, his fingernails are blue. Something to distract him from the sutures. Ready? Ready? It's a very interesting day. I gotta admit, I'll remember this one. <laughs> and even if the ape doesn't remember, his mate certainly will. In their way of displaying that she should be pretty happy to have him back. With photojournalist Nathan Thompson, Amanda Hara, News Channel 5 HD.